As we can hear from Wael Al Dadu now, let's have a listen to what he has to say. He is the best disposer of affairs. This is our choice. This is our fate. And we must accept our fate no matter what happens. Because our ultimate hope is that Allah be satisfied with us and that Allah views us as patient people. This is the fate and this is the choice of all the people here on this land. As you can see, people in droves are saying goodbye to their loved ones and to their children every day, every hour and every second. And me, just like all of these people, I am bidding farewell today. What else can I say? Allah the Almighty, may Allah the Almighty give us strength, give us comfort, give us patience. May Allah the Almighty give us the strength to carry on for the sake of Hamza and for the sake of all the martyrs. And to Hamza and to all the martyrs, I say we will remain faithful. This is the road that we've chosen consciously. We have offered much and we have offered a lot of blood because this is our destiny and we shall continue, we shall move forward. This is the great challenge for us. It is true that we feel sorrow, it is true that we are experiencing suffering, it is true that we are in pain. For, like I said, there is nothing harder than the pain of losing. So, what can you say when you've lost a child? Hamza was not a part of me. Hamza was all of me. He was the soul of my soul. He was everything to me. But, when we feel sorrow, we remember that the Prophet, peace be upon him, also felt sorrow and also shed tears. These are the tears of sorrow, these are the tears of farewell, and these are the tears that distinguish us from our enemies. We are full of humanity, and they are full of murder. They are full of rage. For that reason, we cry, we mourn, we shed tears. Yes, however, our tears are tears of humanity. They are the tears of dignity. And they are not the tears of fear. They are not the tears of terror. They are not the tears of surrender and defeat. And this makes me say today, that we will continue, we are still working live on air, and we are not ashamed of anything. My son Hamza was working with me, he was working with us as part of the Al Jazeera crew, and I started working before Hamza was born. And until today, I have been working on this mission for over two decades, working on this humanitarian mission. After my family and after Hamza, we will definitely continue. We will continue. However, the entire world must take a look at what is going on here in the Gaza Strip. What is going on is difficult, it is painful, it is massive, and there is great injustice here for unarmed people, for the civilian people who live here. What is happening holds great injustice for us as journalists. It was said in the past that the freedom of opinion and the freedom of expression and the work that journalists do in obtaining information, photos and footage in order for the deserving audience to view them 
It was said that our job was guaranteed by international law and humanitarian law. However, 107 journalists have fallen. Their blood has been spilled on this land as if no one heard about what was said, as if no one was seeing what is happening here. I call upon the entire world to put an end to all this killing that is taking journalists one after the other. I hope that the blood of my son Hamza will be the last blood spilled by journalists and the last blood to be spilled here by anyone in the Gaza Strip. I hope that this massacre will come to an end. However, no matter what the cost, we will continue. This is a humanitarian mission that is guaranteed by international law, and this is our a duty that we will do and continue until the end. Abu Hamza, may Allah grant you patience. Allow me please to kiss your forehead, not for the cameras, not for anything else. You deserve more. Allow me to kiss your forehead. May Allah have mercy on Hamza's soul and on everybody's souls.